Hello everybody, and welcome back to Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel, multifaceted edition. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Couldn't have said it better myself. If you're watching this, it's actually May the 4th. So May the 4th be with you and happy Star Wars Day. And today is also free comic book day. So two of the three things that I really absolutely love in this world, besides my family, of course. I guess depending on the day with my youngest, he's going through a thing right now. Woo, that boy crazy. Anyway, May the 4th and free comic book day. So if you are watching this early in the morning, go out and patronize one of your local comic book shops. Yeah, they're going to have free stuff to hand out most likely, but that's not the reason for this day. It's to celebrate everything comic book related, and more importantly, it's for you to go patronize your business. They're small local business owners. They're really depending on you to go and support what they're doing. And if you don't do it, the days of the comic book retail area, might, retail stores might be gone pretty soon, right? Yeah, he's agreeing with me. No. I, I agree with them. It's not the same shopping online. Go visit your total your comic book retailers and patronize your business. In fact, let us know down below if you have any no plans to do so or what you're just going to do for May the 4th and for free comic book day. Because, you know, Star Wars really encompasses both, as seen here. Thought I'd share that with you. It's not the first print. It's actually reprinting later from 1982, but it's still Star Wars and comic books. So go out, be a geek, enjoy the world. But today on Tommy's Tesla Tech and Travel, we're going to do something that actually encompasses all three. Seriously, we are. It's going to be an unboxing of something that's Tesla related, tech related, and travel related. And I can't wait to dive into it. What do you think? <laughs> oh, you better keep it out. That's not very PG. This is a family show. Let's dive right into it. And right now I'm wearing this Presidio comic shirt, but you can see me do a couple wardrobe changes to this video to support those comic book shops that I love here locally. Well, let's dive right into what we're unboxing today. Wardrobe change number one, going from our Presidio comic shirt to Fantasy Comics, also a comic book shop here in Tucson, Arizona. Probably the best old school comic book shop in town. It's the oldest one I can remember. Uh, the first shop I ever went to is a place called Dimension X. And it used to be there at Oracle and Limberlost area, which is local here in Tucson. But I closed down and the next one I discovered right after high school was Fantasy Comics. And they've always taken care of me there. So check out Presidio, check out Fantasy, and I'll put a whole list of places down below here in Tucson to check out, maybe even up in Scottsdale. But let's talk about what I'm unboxing today. And before I tell you what it is, I gotta give you a little bit of a background, but I'll make it very quick. One of the biggest pet peeves that we have as Tesla owners is they do advertise all this space in the car in the front and the trunk, because there's no gas can, there's no or gas can, there's no gas tank, there's no engine. But there's also no spare tire, and that's always my biggest concern we've taken this on road trips. We've driven it all the way to Florida and back. We've driven it to Northern California, Disneyland, you know, 30 times. Never had an issue, but my biggest fear is always getting a flat tire, and there is no flat tire, or there's no spare tire in the car in any capacity. You would have to call roadside service and wait for them to come out and help you, unless you prepare. So if you do something like a patch repair kit, if you get like a nail in your tire or something along those lines, but if you are able to replace it out there in the wild, how do you inflate your tire? Which leads us to the product we're gonna talk about today. And truth be told, I don't remember how I originally discovered this, but when I saw it, I'm like, that is a genius idea. I like the looks of it. It seems super simple to use. I just never had ordered it because I really don't like ordering stuff online if I don't have to. I'm definitely a go put my hands on it and see it type person. But then we were traveling through Costco and as a good suburban night house dad, <laughs> I saw it and was like, oh, got super excited. It's a company called Fantic. It's not sponsored or anything. It's just something I've been really interested in getting for quite a while. It's an electric air pump, runs off a battery, and it's really small, seems really easy to use. Um, it kind of looks like an old school iPod from like the Gen 1 or Gen 2 of the iPod classics. I guess they were just iPods when they first came out. I've been wanting to get one of these for a while, and at $39.99 at Costco, I decided to buy it and give it a, a whirl. Because like I just previously said, if you're out there and you have a low tire or you know just to get to that next destination, you have to have something. A lot of the air and like portable air you know pumps I've seen are pretty bulky considering their size. This looks to be really small, really handy, and I've seen nothing but really positive reviews. I would like to do a review on it later, but for today's purposes, we're just gonna unbox it and look at it. So let's jump right into that. I'm excited. It's weird the things that make me excited now. Comic books and air pumps. <laughs> And from what I understand, there's actually a newer version of this out now, but this is the Fantic S100 Apex Air Inflator. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right, so first things first, I like the way it's packaged. I know that seems simple and weird, a thing to really acknowledge, but aesthetics is a big part of this. I mean, there's a reason that 
there's so many designers out there and so many people that actually take the time to make it look aesthetically pleasing for those that want to buy it. And I I'm very much a minimalist, hence I like Teslas and everything else. It's a very minimalist car inside. All right, there's the box. All right, again, packed very nicely. Not very heavy at all. I would say it's maybe two pounds at the most, three pounds maybe. A little directions book. I'm assuming this is gonna be our cable and our charger. And I would be right in that assumption. Ooh, there's an extra piece. Ooh, a little travel bag, yay. <laughs> little, little things that make things exciting in life. So first things first, let's see what it comes with. Yeah, a little travel bag to keep it in. Feels pretty high quality material as well, which is kind of cool. And there's actually a pocket inside, I'm assuming to store your cable and everything. So there's that. Here's the actual piece. It'll have a screw nozzle, a male connector, and then a female connector over here. Presumably this is the part that would go onto the tire itself. Now, oh wait, there's another little piece here. Let's see what this, oh. It looks like it's an extender and the charging cable. Oh, a little uh, needle for like a basketball or something. Cool, because that's actually one of the things I plan on pumping up with it originally. And it's just your regular USB-A to USB-C. So if you have like a USB-C to USB-C, that's gonna be perfectly fine to inflate it. Now, the P de resistance, the actual unit itself. Oh, and that really does look like an old school iPod, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, let's listen to, uh, was it U2 that came with them preloaded at one point? So pretty self-explanatory right off the beginning. You have the power button in the middle, plus, minus, I'm assuming to control your air, brightness, and to go. Let's turn it on and see what happens. Ooh, there's your display. It's got three quarters of a charge on there. It's set to 35 PSI. And yeah, like I said, this goes up here. So like my tires, for example, use 45. And there's nothing on there right now because it's not detecting anything. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. And let's attach the hose and see how that looks once it's in there. So it's got the female connection here and the male connection here. And we're just gonna turn that in. So it doesn't have like a pivoting end. So you gotta turn either the whole unit or the whole cable itself. And it's a pretty sturdy cable. So it's gonna let you make it work it a little bit harder there. Okay, now we're pumped in there. And here's an adapter. I'm not sure exactly what the adapter is for, unless it's to remove this for some reason. Hmm, we'll have to look into that later. But yeah, so like, let's say here's the air needle, for example. We're gonna turn it back on. And just for giggles, let's turn it down to like 25. <laughs> okay, that was pretty loud. <laughs> So I'll have to save this for uh, not when it's midnight. <laughs> but it seems really cool. I'm trying to look where, it, oh, here we go. Looks like it either has USB-C or USB-A to charge it. I wonder how long something like this would take to charge. It's at a three quarter charge right now, so it's not gonna be a good time to review it. But there it is in its entirety. Let's kind of shut it down and pack it up and see what it looks like when it's stored and ready to go. Let's talk about it as a whole. The first thing I read when I was looking at it is this can actually do four to five inflations of car tires, which if you're on a road trip, you say you hit two nails and you have a patch kit and you fix that driver's side front tire, driver's side rear tire. This lets you inflate both of those and you'll still have some power left. And the best part is you can charge it in your car with either USB-C or USB-A. What I like about it a lot so far is the simplicity. You have your power button and in the middle, so you hold it down to turn it on and off. You push this to start the inflation process. You control the PSI through the plus and the minus. And my favorite part, I just discovered, I didn't realize it had, it has a flashlight with a solid light and a blinking light, I'm assuming for emergencies on the side of the road. The other part, it has some presets in there. So like for my sense, my car is 45, so I can just kind of manually set it to that. But if I push it again, it shows you it goes to a general car amount, which is 36. Push it again. Now it's for motorcycle, which is saying 35, push it again. It's saying bicycle, which 45, that seems really high to me, but correct me if I'm wrong. And then also athletic balls. So in this case, it's showing a basketball, saying it's an eight PSI. And like I said, we're only at three quarter power, so I mean, we're good to go right out of the box. So I could have opened this in an emergency in the car and it had been ready to go. I think this is really, really cool. I think this is something that everyone should have in the car for safety. I should carry with you, like if you're out biking, if you're riding a motorcycle, 
if you're driving any kind of car, this is one of those things you want to have in there just for safety at all times. And I've heard great things about this brand. Granted, I do realize this is now an older model, which is probably why it's available at Costco to clear out all their, like, their wholesale stuff. But looking at the newer ones, I don't see much of a difference. And I think this one is really built well. I mean, just from first glances, it's got a good weight to it. Really quality product. Even the hose is really quality. And it comes with everything you need. The only thing I'm not sure about is this. It's saying it's a valve adapter. I'm assuming for something that's not normal size air valves. But I have to say, this is probably a must have for anyone that has a car, let alone Tesla drivers. This is, I'm really happy I bought this. I actually might go pick up a second one for our other car. I mean, it's really not that big either for size comparison, you know. It's about as tall as my head. <laughs> it's like a Zach Morris phone from back in the 1990s. So it's really easy to store and keep in the car. I'm really happy I picked this up and I hope I never have to use it for bad purposes. I hope it's for only for good things, but I'm really glad that I have it. And like I said, I picked it up from Costco, but it's available on their website too, which I'll link down below. It's called Fantic. Uh, it's not sponsored or anything. I just think it's a really cool accessory because we talk about accessories on here quite a bit and all the accessories aren't like cool charging adapters or emblems or floor mats, things like that. It's things like this. It's accessories that you can use in any car, not just Tesla's. It just makes a lot of sense in ours since it doesn't come with a spare tire anymore. But in all fairness, most new cars, whether they're electric or ice or whatever, tend not to come with spare tires anymore. So if we can't have a spare tire, this would be the next best thing in case there's just you know a simple emergency that we can fix. But there is a place out there that does use spare tires specifically for Tesla's, and it's a smaller version of a tire that fits in the car, which I think is a great idea. However, it takes up a lot of space and there really isn't that much space to begin with if you're going on road trips and what have you. So you really have to pack accordingly. And luckily Tesla's roadside service is pretty spot on. I've had to use it myself a couple years ago, which I'll put the picture here. I had a flat tire on the way to work and the downside is they had to tow it into Tesla. They had to replace the tire. I didn't get it for like seven hours. So luckily the Tesla dealership or the service center is right by where I worked at the time. Um, same company, just different location. So that was easy. I was able to walk to go pick up my car. But if we're traveling like we do to Disney quite a bit from Tucson, there's not a whole lot of Tesla, you know, service centers between here and there. So hopefully we'd be dependent on someone being able to change our tire out in the field. The only catch there is it's kind of an odd sized tire. Last time I had to replace a couple tires, nobody had them in stock except Tesla. And it was Sunday and their service center was closed. Luckily, I got a hold of one of their managers and he was able to go get me, have someone go get me a tire that day. And I went to a different place to get the tire changed. So they don't make it easy to get those tires. So this is gonna be a very big important piece in my Tesla accessory collection for the car. And I'll link down where you can get it below. And I hope this was somewhat informative and helpful. So let's recap this video. It's May the 4th, so may the 4th be with you. Celebrate something Star Wars. It's free comic book day. Go to your local comic shop and buy some comics. And we got to unbox a cool new thing for our car. So yay. <laughs> All right guys, it's like 12.30. I'm going to let off. So for you guys, it's early morning on May the 4th. But for me, it's really late a couple nights before. So I'm going to go get some sleep. And you do the same. So thanks for taking another ride with us. Let's take another ride again soon. Thanks for listening to me rant at whatever time you're watching this. And thank you guys so much for uh, actually all of April. Well, April and late March was our biggest month ever on the channel. We added on over 77 new subscribers. And we're almost to our 3,000 hours of total watch. So thank you guys so much for listening to my rantings and ravings. Thank you guys for following. If you haven't done so, please like and subscribe. And also, sharing is caring. Please hit that share button. And also leave a comment down below. All this stuff really helps us out. So thank you guys again. Thanks for another ride with us. Let's take another ride again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.